This podcast was produced by Sean Western Media. From a dimly lit cupboard somewhere in England, two people chat about communications. Sometimes they talk about other things. Welcome to From the Comms Cupboard. Do you think it's important that companies give back Things they've borrowed from me? Yes. <laughs> Do you think they should give back to the communities? Well, should they be doing more than just what their core offering is? Well, I think it's a nice idea. It's that idea of being ethically responsible. Yeah, having... Social responsibility. Mm. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Have you ever seen a great example of it? Something that made you think, yeah, they're okay. Yeah, it's usually the companies that people hate. I've actually seen some great work from Nestle, Coca-Cola. I've worked closely with those companies in the past. And while... Some may say that they walk a fine line ethically and morally and that they only have their own interests at heart. Sometimes it takes for these giant companies and the giant wallets to actually do something good that gets ignored. So would a cynical person then say, ah, it's just PR? Oh, yeah. I, I might say the same thing. But it, does it matter if it's genuine or not as long as it's done? Hmm. So this week we've seen lots of organisations come out and support um, people. Um, I think some of the notable ones, places like Pret offering free coffee to NHS workers mm. or yeah, I, th- I think any number of places offering sort of free meals or discounted meals for sort of people who are really supporting with the effort around coronavirus. But I think a lot of companies do a lot more all of the time, don't they? Yeah, I think so, With, without there being a crisis. I mean, I, I, shall, I shall refrain from naming this company, but I did read about one recently that was helping NHS staff get ahead of the queue kind of thing. But when it actually came to the practical side of it, uh, there was nothing in place so that other people who didn't work for the NHS couldn't actually just get in there and and take what they wanted as well. And and it made me feel like, oh, so the notice went out. They they did their um, bandstanding. A grandstanding? Bandstanding. I'm not sure. Grandstanding. Grand About bandstanding? We're going to help the NHS. Um, and that advert went out and across social media and, and emails and all that sort of thing, the message was out there that, oh, isn't this a great company? They're going to help. But when it came down to application, it wasn't there. And it did make me feel like, hmm, maybe it wasn't so genuine after all. They're just copying everyone else mm. and making themselves look good. They left a bad taste in my mouth. Whereas some companies don't wait for the, the cataclysmic the inc- event. The incident. <laughs> the incident. And they just get on with it and they, and they help. And Perhaps they do it out of guilt. Yeah. Do you know what I like? I like when a company does something good, but that it also is kind of linked to what they do. So if it's, I don't know, a technology company who are supporting schools because they need, they know they're going to need more coders or people who know certain things, and they know that if they support the education system, that's going to help them as an organisation. It's kind of genuine, isn't it? Because... They are doing it for themselves, but it's going to help a lot of people and potentially create for future jobs. So there's a lot of potential there. So I think it's almost about being open, isn't it? Open, open and transparent about your intentions. So it's not just about charitable giving. It's about what we do. How does it impact people properly? And what's the value for them and for us? Mm. That's what I like. I like that too. Companies with conscience. Yeah. Uh, companies for conscience may be the wrong phrase because that maybe implies that they're doing something bad and we need to make up for this somehow. So it's, it's the end of greed is good. It's the end of greed is good. 
What was his name again? Gordon. Gordon Gecko. Did Gordon Gecko have a charitable side? I mean, he may have done some sort of percentage giving, I don't know. We never saw it. We never saw it. I don't think it was important for the story. <laughs> no. <laughs> Poor Gordon. Poor Gordon. But in all truth, I think there's a lot of value from being responsible. If you support the people who work for you or the communities where people work, who work for you are, that adds value beyond their paycheck. If you support the, the schools of the children of the people who work for you, if you support the infrastructure, the, the town or the area. Do you think all employees are happy when their company starts splashing out money in things they may not necessarily be close to or agree with? Um, how do you probably not. I think, well, how, I, I, how I'd handle it is I think you need to get them involved. I think anything you do that's socially responsible, you should also include your employees give them opportunity to volunteer, to be part of it, to help make decisions. I think one of the best things I've ever seen is, you know, if a lot of companies have charity partners, I think the best thing you can do is let the people who work in your company choose who that is. Because it's important that people connect with what they're trying to do. Because you quite often will see working in a big company, see big fundraisers or... Yeah, being asked to give money on certain days of the year. And I think let people choose who that is and make it personal for them. And then they feel like they're connected in some way to the decision and that the company's money is theirs to help spread the good cheer. Yeah, you build, you know, you build engagement, you build connection with who you work for. Mm. And uh, hopefully you work a little bit harder because you want them to succeed as well. You've made it a more desirable place to be. So I think a lot of people, you know, you mentioned some big companies at the start who some people might think are not doing great things in the world. But I'm sure that they do a lot of good things as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, Coca-Cola, one of the biggest... It's the biggest brand in the world, would you say? The most recognisable brand? One, definitely one of them. The one you'll see everywhere you The one you'll see everywhere. I mean, they sell sugared water. Famous quote from somebody, isn't it, about sugared water? But... It's not all about profit. There are many organisations that maybe we don't know all of them either have benefited in some way from the Coca-Cola dollar. Yeah. Well, that's got to be a good thing. So do you think it's important from a communications perspective that everyone knows that? Or is it just or is as it dangerous? Well, is it just as important to say that they do it and they you don't need to shout about it? Isn't there more intention? Oh, that's an Isn't there more responsibility from not shouting about it but if you don't tell people you're doing it then you can't take them on the journey and the story it's an opportunity for a marketing department here's the marketing man in me coming out now is that's an opportunity to tell a story of something you're doing outside of making sugared water to increase your sales to increase your sales but you're helping a community in africa build a well yeah and you're spending your money to do it, why not tell the world? Yeah, I think people would want to know. Yeah. They might feel better about themselves when they drink their sugared water. <laughs>